welcome to Made in the Woods Day 3. We showed you guys Day 1 and 2 where we cleared everything and now we're starting the actual cabin build and we're so excited. Yeah, it's move out day, moving out of dad's house. <laughs> Basically what we did is, uh, and you guys will see this either in this video or another one, we pre-assembled all the pieces for the cabin and they've just been sitting in Nate's dad's backyard. <laughs> yeah. So right now we're going to pick up the trailer um, and basically just cart all the pieces out to the to the property. Yeah, let's first get a shot of this. Look how nice this room wow. is. Look how nice that is. It is October 17th and it is currently five degrees out. So a little bit more chilly than it usually is at this time of year. Oh, we got the lake on the right. I don't know if you can see that. Um, yeah, so it's a little, a little chillier than it is this time of year. We're supposed to get um, an absolute downpour of rain tomorrow, so we gotta plan it. We yes. gotta adjust our plans a little bit because originally today was gonna be moving out day and assembling as much as we could, but I don't think that's gonna happen. So. No, because tomorrow's supposed to be like high 70 kilometer an hour winds, so for you southern people, that's like, I don't even know, 40 mile an hour winds, so. For us, that's pretty crazy around here. We're not too worried about the structure though because we cleared out quite a bit of space. Um, but yeah, we're pretty excited to get everything there. <laughs> Tarp if you want. Hey buddy, what are you doing? You haven't helped us at all. And we're rolling! Uh, yeah, if you got, where, what else do you guys plan on doing today? Got my dad, so we're unloading it. But I don't know if you guys will still be on the island, but... <laughs> Holy oh, shit! This, this is will have to be fucking a... heavy. I remember this piece so much he being so much heavier. Being so much heavier. Two. 
frames, the foundation, the adjustable blocks, insulation for the floor, tie bar, wheelbarrow, shovels. There's a lot of stuff. The parts are in the pear tree. Yeah. yeah. All right, guys. Don't be mad. We uh, ended up doing a bunch of work and not filming it. We had a couple of visitors that helped us out. So, um, this is where we're at. So basically dropped off all the pieces that we need. Um, still have the trailer on the back of the truck, but basically we just put some patio stones down. Most of these patio stones are resting on, um, resting on rock. So we, you know, we're not too concerned about any sinking. Uh, then we put some deck feet in there and then these really neat brackets um, that we learned about from another YouTuber actually. So it's basically just a little plate that sits in the sits in the deck foot and it's got this adjustable nut. Is that a nut? I don't know. So it's got this uh, adjustable thing on it. And then our four by four, our pressure treat four by fours sit in the bracket. And uh, yeah, that's basically it. So we have nine of them in total. Um, this is our, like our base, our foundation. We haven't actually tacked it down yet. We were just able to finally get it on there. So pretty exciting plan for tomorrow. Well, depending on if it's raining or not, if it's not raining or if it's not raining too hard, we're going to come back and then fill all of these with insulation, vapor barrier, put some OSB on top. And then basically after that, it's just throwing the walls up, which is, you know, hoping, hoping to get that done in a day. Yeah, you should be able to get everything done in a day. Of all of our rafters there. These are the, the top wall pieces. You guys are gonna see it all come together. <laughs> it's like Lego. That's right. Lumber Lego. Yeah, this here's the piece for our that big square is gonna have our sliding door in it. We have a six foot sliding door. Such a small space, we wanted a bunch of windows and a lots, lots of natural light, so that's what we did with that. Yeah, so in relation to, I guess I'll try and give you guys a little bit of bearing here, but in relation to a couple days back, I stood on a stump to show you guys all the, where the trees had fallen. So that was over here. So standing in the same place, that was where I was showing you. And then that's where we're putting the cabin. So it's a bit set back because if you look over here to the left, that's where our driveway goes out and that's where the, the main road is. So from over where our bunk is, you can't really see the highway, which is ideal. Um, and then, yeah, we just don't really want people to be whipping in here and looking at our shit. So. <laughs> Yeah, that's what we did. We are day four, October 17th, 18th. It is seven degrees outside. It's miserable weather. Raining, you can't really tell, but it's, she's raining. Today, we are trying to tackle the erection of the cabin. <laughs> <laughs> so the base we showed you guys the base is built we have to insulate so we're insulating the floor today uh throwing osb on top of the floor and then hopefully we can throw up the walls we have one wall that is going to be a nightmare probably we gotta make a plan to tackle it but basically it's it's the front wall so it's the wall that our sliding door is going into a it's already heavy enough because we have a big header plate on top of that sliding where the sliding door is going to go. B, it's 12 feet high, so it's a 12, uh, 12 foot by 13 and a half foot wall. And there's just two of us. So we'll see how that goes. I mean, it should be pretty easy. Like, as long as it doesn't fall on us. But if it does, then this video will be our last one. <laughs> All of my possessions are going to go to the... Uh, I don't know. The 
should have been called assembled in the woods. Because we technically made the cabin at your dad's house. Should and we're just assembling it in the woods. It should have been called made at Nate's dad's house. <laughs> it doesn't have a good ring to it. Not the same ring. I guess we'll stick with made in the woods then. That's good enough. Okay, and that's it. That's pretty much it. So hopefully you guys get to see uh, no walls fall on us today. First plan for the day. I'm not talking to you. <laughs> First plan for the day, for the afternoon, because it's almost one. It rained all night, and we've recently learned that if you put OSB on the bottom of your floor base, and you don't cut any vent holes, um, it'll rot right out. So our original plan was to pack this, pack this space in here with, um, uh, fiberglass insulation but what we're going to do is we're actually going to cut holes at the bottom so that you know there can be a bit of breeze that comes up um vents it a little bit and then instead of doing two bats which we were originally going to do we're just going to do one bat um and we're going to hold it up with some 14 too because we've got a, a lot extra of that um, it's sunday so all the hardware stores are closed where we are <laughs> small town northern ontario all right, this is what Nate just did. So, we don't have 14-2, because it's not here. So, the plans are changing again. What are, what are we doing now? Now we're just gonna put four little blocks of two by fours, just to elevate, and we're not gonna screw them down or anything, it doesn't really matter, they're never gonna ship. And uh, just to elevate the bats, so that some airflow can get all around underneath. That's what we're doing. So Nate's gonna cut up these two by fours into little six inch slices. Um, and then and then we're gonna start cutting bats. Where's the exacto knife? It's in one of the bags. Okay. <laughs> Scraps out. Can't use them. Where do I throw them out? We're in the middle of the bush. The whole bat should almost fit. Drop. Don't cut it on the scene. Is it cutting? Is it good? There. Okay. Grab this then, carefully. Right, another update. So, my GoPro 
still working out the kinks in it. Apparently, I filled it all the way up with an animated video. I don't know how that happened, but that's just how she goes. So, we just <laughs> away the road. Um, so we got the vapor barrier on. We stapled it down to the base. A um, little too wet to tape it down, like to kind of seal it off on the edges right now. Um, but we put our OSB on top. It was already pre-cut. We did that whatever, like a month or six weeks ago, whatever it was. Um, so we just put that down. It's kind of half screwed, half nailed down. Um, it's just pretty solid. So on to the next. So we're going to try and put up some walls now. I'm going to see if I can time lapse it with my phone. We'll see. Look at it! Coming back up more good so you guys can see. So yeah, all four walls are up. Uh, we put one piece of OSB on the, I guess that's the west facing side, uh, just to kind of tie it all in and um, make sure it doesn't get all wobbly with the wind. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much it. Um, so we still have obviously the last four top walls there. Um, it's supposed to rain all night, so basically what we did was put a sheet, like a piece of vapor barrier in here. Unfortunately, uh, we thought of this, we didn't think of this right away. <laughs> so there's a bit of water at the bottom. Um, but we're basically just trying to do a bit of damage control. Hopefully the, um, it doesn't rain too, too much and then, um, you know, Pull our staples off the, the studs there. But yeah, it's uh, pretty pretty proud of what we've done today. Um, tomorrow we'll be hopefully trying to get the four top walls on there. Um, the plan for that is to basically tack some two by twelves on the very top. So it kind of acts as a lip and then somehow haul the upper walls up there and then kind of just stand them up. So hopefully I can figure out my GoPro and you guys can uh, can watch us do that. Um, but yeah, so see you guys tomorrow.